Welcome back to the channel, y'all. This is Darian with Darian and Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about my four-year update after coding boot camp. For those that don't know, I went to coding boot camp in October of 2018, so it is now almost June of 2022. So not exactly four years; it's right around the corner. But I wanted to make this video because number one, I've made a video about pretty much every year since I graduated coding boot camp and the lessons that i've learned or took away in my career since then for people who are looking to go to coding boot camps and trying to get more information about it most importantly trying to figure out is it worth the financial investment and the time investment and commitment of changing your entire career and spending all this money to learn how to code and go to a coding boot camp so my first point in this video is that coding boot camp changed my life i've said this a bunch of times on the channel before and i'm saying it again here still after four years Coding Bootcamp changed my life in terms of career opportunities, career advancement, and just lifestyle and what I've been able to do since going to Coding Bootcamp back then is just not even comparable. Before I went to Coding Bootcamp, I was a pharmacy technician. That was my last actual kind of job before I did some freelance stuff like music videos and things that I was into, directing videos and films like that. But my actual last job before coding boot camp was a pharmacy technician. And I stood on my feet for eight hours plus a day and just basically was a glorified cashier. I was pretty much a cashier at a pharmacy making, I think, $11 an hour, eleven seventy five or something like that. And then once I got certified by the state and I passed like an exam to actually be a state licensed pharmacy tech, I was getting like maybe 1270 something an hour, something like that. I was making about $200, maybe $250 a week after taxes. And it just wasn't working for me. And at the highest level of state certification for a pharmacy tech, at least in Michigan at the time, this is in 2018, the most I would have made as a level four technician was like $17 an hour. And at the time I was a level two once I passed my, my state exam. So the point is that my last job before I went to coding boot camp had absolutely no opportunity for a career advancement. $17 an hour would have been the end all be all for my career in that particular industry. And as a pharmacy technician, that was as far as I would have been able to go. And I didn't see any end in sight. And the jobs I had before that, you know, obviously weren't even as good as a pharmacy technician. I worked at Starbucks, I sold furniture, I taught lower level coding to kids and things like that. But none of those jobs were sustainable. None of those jobs really allowed me to pay all my bills and really live my life. And so coding boot camp once I graduated, opened up the doors and opportunities for me to actually go out and start my life and my actual career and work one job and really be able to start planning ahead for my life. So when I say coding bootcamp changed my life, like that's what I'm saying. It, without that, I don't know what my career trajectory was going to look like at all. So the second point that I have on this topic is that I became a six-figure earner within three years of graduating coding boot camp. And please trust me, I am not saying that as a flex at all. I'm saying that as hopefully inspiration to people who are out there because if you follow my channel at all or know anything about my story, I don't have a college degree. I did not go back to school. The only form of continued education I really did other than self-study was going to coding boot camp in 2018. November 1st, actually, of 2021, I accepted a six-figure job offer as a product manager at a startup, which I do now. And so more to come on that. I have so many videos I plan on putting out. They go much more in detail about all these experiences and all the things I learned. But again, I feel like society pushes so much four-year degrees on us, master's degrees and MBAs and all these different things like that they they, they they really promote like you need to have these things in order to make certain types of money or get certain types of jobs. But this also ties back into coding bootcamp changing my life because not only am I making six figures now, but my lifestyle is completely different. Like I said before, you heard me say I was standing on my feet for eight plus hours a day and only making $250 a week at best after taxes. Right. So not only are you getting paid better, but I work from home now. I have unlimited vacation. 
I have equity options in the company. I mean, these are all unheard of things that was never considered part of any of the jobs I ever had before I graduated coding bootcamp. My third point on this topic is I would attend coding bootcamp again if I had to pay for it. So I know anybody new to the channel is probably like, what do you mean if you had to pay for it? So I actually got a scholarship to my coding bootcamp. There's a video about this back on the channel if you want to check it out. But I did not actually pay for my coding bootcamp. I was fortunate. Myself and my classmates did not have to pay. Had I not got that scholarship and looking back in hindsight, you know, still thought about going to coding bootcamp, I would definitely, you know, tell my yes yourself that yes, you should still go. You should still pay the money. I think it was $12,000 at the time for 12 weeks or 10 weeks when I was in boot camp. I'm sure it's a little bit more now. I've seen about 15,000 being more of like an average now for a full stack coding boot camp. Regardless though, I would still pay it because I mean, it depends on if you're really into this. So I'm in this video, I'm kind of assuming you've already done your research. You're already pretty certain that you know you you want to learn the code or you want to move into tech so i'm assuming that this is something you want to do you're not just doing it as a money grab just specifically for the career i'm not saying do it specifically for the money i mean you should definitely care about coding and at least be interested or passionate about it or curious about it at the very least because it's very hard it's going to be very challenging to do and go through coding boot camp and that's going to be a lot of money to spend if you don't like this or if you're not at least into it so I'm assuming you've already done that research, but with all that in mind, I'm saying I would still tell myself, my yes or self, or I would advise somebody who's already done this research and is very curious about coding and already knows they kind of want to do this. I would say, yes, it's worth the price of going to coding bootcamp. My last point on this topic is, you know, four years after bootcamp, I can finally say that I have financial and job security for the first time ever in my life. And you'll notice if you go watch my other update videos after coding bootcamp, I don't believe I ever mentioned job security really being one of them. Maybe I did, but I mean it differently now in a different way because I've since moved out of software engineering. So yes, I went to coding bootcamp to learn how to code. I became a software engineer. I did that for about three years, but I was able to transition out of software engineering into product management and also i could have gone into project management i have friends from coding bootcamp who work in project management now as well in different things program management so there's so many different avenues that you can take to kind of step out of software engineering but into another role in tech and that is the part that i'm most grateful for because i'm a person that doesn't want to do the same thing for the next 40 years of my life or what however long i'm going to be working and you know, I always have different interests and in trying different things. And once you really work as a software engineer or go through a coding boot camp, it likely opens you up to a lot more opportunities to do different things, different job titles. Yes, they will all be under the tech umbrella, but you'll have so many opportunities to do different jobs and try different things and just find out what you like. Find out what role you really enjoy, what fits you. And they all have a pretty good quality of life as well, too. So I just feel so fortunate to not have a degree, but to, you know, have such an abundance of jobs available. And now that I have three plus years experience in the industry and I have, again, software engineering experience and now product experience, looking for a job is not even difficult. I mean, it doesn't even take long to start getting hit up by tons of recruiters or getting tons of replies back to my resume for interviews now. I mean, it's a whole different job seeking, job searching process, you know, now that I've put in the hard work going to boot camp and, and getting a couple years of experience under my belt. It's like I'm in a whole different world now, and I'm so grateful for that job security and that financial security and lifestyle security that kind of comes with that. So in my opinion, those are the things that really made coding boot camp super worth it for me. I just wanted to reflect here four years later, this is how I feel about, you know, about coding boot camp. I still code on the side, you know, I still work on projects on my own, but I'm no longer a engineer in my day to day, but engineering and everything that I learned in Cody Bootcamp is still very prevalent in my role as a product manager. And I would not be able to do my job as a product manager if I didn't start out as a software engineer and going to Cody Bootcamp and learning how to code. So that's just kind of my two cents. But let me know what y'all think about this. Is this helpful? You know, let me know some thoughts that you have. If you went to Cody Bootcamp down in the comment section below, let's get the conversation started. I'm Darian. This is Darian in Tech. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. Peace.